Welcome to Darien, Connecticut. It's Mark Pyers with Coldwell Banker, and this is Discover Connecticut. Situated on the Long Island Sound between the cities of Stamford and Norwalk, there are two railroad stations in Darien, Neroten Heights and Darien Train Station, linking the town to Grand Central Terminal. There are also 11 parks. One of them we already featured is Tilly Pond. Make sure you check that out here in Discover Connecticut. And there's public beaches and the Neroten Yacht Club. Before I share a bit of Darien history with you, let's talk about the Darien real estate market. There's currently 31 houses on the market from $949,000 to $12.9 million. That's a direct waterfront property at 1 and 3 Pratt Island. There are 35 houses under contract between $650,000 and $6.95 million. And in the last seven days, there have been four closings in town. So even though activity seems a little softer, Everyone's away and there's a ton of stuff in the pipeline. So if you're thinking about selling your home, this is an opportune time. Make sure you reach out to get your free market analysis and see exactly where you land in this current market. But let's keep going. We have a lot to see here in Darien. In between takes, the owner of Crepes Chapette asked if I was hot and if I'd like some water. Ah, very kind of him. Very, very kind. I wanted to thank him and bring back his glass. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. That helped out a lot. Can we put this here or up here is better? Oh, thank you so much. Very kind of you. I show up in a new town every day. Okay. So I'm trying to cover the whole lower Fairfield County area. Like every week I'll do a new Darien episode. When did you open up the shop? Yeah, about almost three years now. Oh, yeah? We do the savory. Savory comes on the buckwheat. The buckwheat is gluten free, sugar free. I'll show you guys the menu here. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff. I'll zoom in on that. And how do you pronounce, is it chauffette? Chupette. Chupette. Crepe chupette. Crepe chupette. Guys, come on down here, check it out, Darien, Connecticut. Okay. So you've been here for three years. Where did Almost you? Almost three years, yeah. The first one, it's in New Haven since 2014. Okay, so you so started this, there? This is the second location. Oh, nice, okay. You started in, in New Haven, had good yeah, success? Yeah, I started in New Haven. Oh, nice, so family, I like that. Yeah. I like that so a lot. The, the, the chupette, what it means, it's here. A term of affection that carries a meaning similar to cutie, darling or sweetheart, that was used only when my mom was in a good mood. Yeah. <laughs> I only have one when my mom is in a good mood. It's uh, <laughs> sweet Maria Sava. I actually have that on the menu. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so nice much for your time. You. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, say the name one more time. Chopette. Crepe Chopette. Crepe Chopette. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Take care. Thank you for the water. I appreciate you. According to early records, the first clearings of land were done by men from the Weathersfield colonies, New Haven colonies, and Norwalk as early as 1641. It wasn't until 1739, however, that the Middlesex Society of the town of Stamford built the first community church, now the first congregational church of Darien, which stands at the original site on the corner of Brookside and Boston Post Road. On Sunday, July 22nd, 1781, while engaged in public worship in the building then occupying this site, Reverend Dr. Moses Mather and 50 men of his congregation were captured by British troops and taken to New York where several of them perished in prison. To commemorate the sufferings of these patriots, this tablet has been erected. Discover Darien, Connecticut. There's so much more we'll be covering in the episodes to come, so make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications. There are playlists for all of the towns. So that's it for us here today in Darien, Connecticut. If you have any other questions about Darien or any other town in Lower Fairfield County, make sure you reach out. If you're thinking about selling your house, reach out to me for your free market analysis. And if you're a buyer looking, I could set you up with auto mail. So every time there's a new listing or a reduction, you'll get it. Until next time, this is Mark Pyers with Coldwell Banker. And this discover Connecticut. Thank you for watching. If you have a small business in Lower Fairfield County and you'd like to be featured on a future episode of Discover Connecticut, send us a DM. Until next time.